Good morning, ELI. It's Christy Beth Kelly here, the Associate Dean of the English Language Institute. And what I want to show you today is how to access the resources from the career services at Fanshawe. So I know some of you are interested in possibly a part-time job or a summer job. We're just thinking about the future after your EAP and after perhaps your post-secondary program, but what jobs are available and what to do now to prepare yourself for careers or jobs in the future in Canada. So I'm going to take you on a little tour, so join me please. So you would go on your Fanshawe online, so sign in like you normally would do. And then on this main page, you'll see here resources. Click on there and the second tab down, career slash co-op slash CCR. CCR means co-curricular record, but that's the tab that we're going to explore today. Okay, click on that. And it'll take you to this page. Of course, it says my name and it'll say your name on yours. And if you go over to the left, you'll see a tab called career and a little down arrow. Click on that and we'll, we'll just go step by step through a few of these. We'll look at the overview at first. So there's a little video to, that talks about the career services at Fanshawe and what you can expect. So you can click on that and, and watch that. Then an important post, an important spot here is the job postings. Click on that and you can see a whole variety of job postings available in various areas. So apprenticeship, entry level, full-time, part-time, you name it, on campus. Some volunteer experiences sometimes are on there too. Some summer employment, some postings or cross postings that are not program specific. And I'll just link down. So all of those, you can see how many different entries there are for each of those different categories. So you'll see there's 649 different opportunities for, oh, it says Outcome Campus Connect Opportunities. So different opportunities to connect outside of the campus. And just different um, postings, this 145 different postings that were added in the last 10 days. So very recent postings as well. So you would just click on there and look what you need to, to do. I would just click on one. This postings or cross postings, that's what that X means, cross postings that are not program specific. So you would go and you would look here and you would see all the different titles, what organization it's with, et cetera, et cetera, and then how to apply. And they've made it really easy for you by just clicking on the apply button. Okay, so take a look at those. See if there's any that interest you now or in the future and and what you would need, what the requirements are to apply for that job and to be qualified for that job. Okay, so that's a really good um, folder, a really good part of this um, career services um, website. Then here, events, if you click over there, it shows you their calendar. And this is really, really helpful for you now as an EAP student. So you can see every day they have different opportunities and different workshops available. For example, this one here on Friday, it's called Career Workshops, The Resume. So at 2 p. 2 p.m., there's a, a workshop then on how to create a Canadian resume. So that's really important. But if you're not able to make it, if you have class at 2 p.m. on Friday and can't make that one, there are many other ones about resumes. Here on Tuesday, next week, is, a resume, is also a, a workshop at 11 o'clock. And if all, none of these work, they also record them, okay? So you can also watch the recording of the workshop. It tells you different interviews, uh, different workshops on how to interview. This is a specific to how to ace or how to do really well on your virtual and phone interview. That's a workshop on that. This here at 2 p.m. on, on um, next Monday is a peer chat, just talking to other people your age that maybe are experiencing same difficulties or same desires about looking for a job, all of that. This particular one here is about networking or your LinkedIn profile, or this is a question and answer time to meet with a, a career co consultant to help you. Okay, so there's many different things now that you can already do and already start to be aware of that can help you in the future to get a job or a career in Canada. Okay, so take a look at that events page and see if there's a workshop that suits your, your timetable, your schedule that you can you can be part of. Okay? Then here, this next one on the left is job search websites. 
So you may know a lot of job search websites in your home country, but you may not know what is popular in Canada and specifically in London. There's a whole variety of websites that are common and popular in this area. Over here on the left again, career services contacts. So every area of the college has a, a career service contact. Um, there's not one listed here for the ELI, but certainly any program that you're going into after the ELI has a, a consultant that can help you. Next down the list is a job search tool kit. So if you think, well, I just need to learn a little bit more about resume, writing a resume and cover letter. Well, you would go to that one and read there. Let's just click on that one. So it gives you, a, it's a PDF on how to create a resume. So it's not a workshop where you're interacting with somebody else, but it's just, this is a standard resume that can help you get a job in Canada. All right, gotta go back here. So you can take a look at LinkedIn. It's really important these days to have a, a positive social media um, profile and LinkedIn is the professional one for finding a job and career. So if you don't already have a LinkedIn um, profile, that's something you may want to already start building. And there's some information here. You can view that on how to get started in, in, with a LinkedIn profile. And there's the online workshop, so it's just a different way of getting of um, learning about um, the, the different workshops they have. This here, I believe there's videos and things as well on this part of the site. Okay. This is this is Darlene O'Neill. She's the, the director of the career services area of the college. Okay. Then there's more information here as well. Co-curricular record, you can take a look at what's involved in that. And, and there's various things all on here um, on ac that you can access through FOL. So once again, right from the main page of FOL, go to resources, career, co-op, and CCR, and then it gets you right to here. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you. And uh, I hope you already start thinking about ways that you can um, improve your, your resume if you're hoping and planning on working in Canada um, and, and things that you can do now to already be preparing your resume. So volunteering is always very important and just looking for contacts, getting, getting your LinkedIn profile set up properly and, and accurately. All of those things can help you um, with careers. So good luck everyone, I hope that was helpful.